Hey guys, it's Harleywood. I just got back from a family vacation. I took the kids and the wife up to Great Wolf Lodge in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I come back and my truck is completely dead. Like, completely. Um, so it's funny, I got an oil change about a week before we went on vacation. We didn't take this on vacation, we took my wife's vehicle, and the guy had told me that my battery was dead, or was having problems. They've been telling me that for a year, and it's, it seems to have been fine. So I don't know if I left a dome light on or what, but um, I did a video not too long ago on one of those portable jump starter things that I bought for my wife's vehicle. And I showed it on my old Harley, the one that I recently sold. And it worked perfect on that. And a bunch of guys in the comments said, yeah, but try that on a big V8. And that one was only intended for, I think, um, up to three liter vehicles. So I've had one for my truck shortly after doing that video that works up to six liter vehicles. This is a 5.7 liter. Let me get in the back and get this thing out. All right, so this one actually comes in a really nice case. The one that I got for my wife was just in a, um, like a little felt bag and we ended up leaving it in the box uh, just so it was a little sturdier. This one, let's see if nothing falls out here actually comes in a really nice case. It has all kinds of adapters. I'm gonna put this on the tabletop here in just a second and show it. But this guy right here will supposedly start a six liter engine. And didn't really plan on reviewing this since I already did a jump starter on the channel, but I guess since opportunity presented itself, let's see if it works. So the only thing we really need for this is going to be the cables. I never even use this thing. And the unit. Now, on the other one, it actually had a status light that showed like um, that it had a successful connection. This one doesn't. And I probably should have read the instructions a little better, but this is literally just, you're seeing it as it happens. So it is fully charged. Let's just try it and see what happens. All right, here's a look at everything that's in the case. A very nice user manual, actually. Nicely illustrated, very easy uh, to read instructions. You have two USB charging cables. One has your Android type charging plug there. I think it's just a micro USB. And the other one has a lightning cable for your iPhone type devices, your iOS devices. Here is a 12 volt adapter, so that if you wanted to recharge this using your 12 volt, kind of your cigarette lighter adapter, you could. Here is the wire. If you wanted to charge your laptop with this device, you plug this in, and it comes with a series of adapters for various types of laptops. Now, one that is not represented here is one for a Mac, which is what I actually have. So, my wife has a PC. In the event we needed to charge it, we could use this. Here is your wall charger, so you plug this into the wall, plug it into here to recharge this, and then your battery cables. Now, one thing that I was looking for when I was charging the truck there was on the other unit for my wife's vehicle, 
This part here is a little more robust and has a status light so that when you connect negative to negative and positive to positive, it lights up green and lets you know that you have a correct connection. As opposed to if you had swapped them and hook it up wrong, it would light up red and let you know that you had an incorrect correct connection. This one doesn't have that, not necessarily a critical you know, deal breaker. Most battery terminals are pretty easily distinguished. So just one thing that I th thought I would note that my other one does have that. Now this charger can charge up to a three liter diesel engine or a six liter gas engine. So me having a 5.7 liter um, gas engine, this worked perfect. And you saw it actually took me two times to get it to turn over the first time. It, it, I thought it had turned over and I actually started to walk back and then it died uh, and I had to do it again. But it worked fine on that second attempt. Okay, let's take a closer look at the unit. Now, the batteries in here have 18,000 milliamp hours of charge on them. So you could charge an iPhone 7 Plus half a dozen, if not more times. On the side here, you have your outputs. These are what you would plug like a laptop into. You have a 10 amp out and a three and a half amp out. Here is your input. So in order to recharge this device with that wall socket, and then there's a button on the side here and you can see your LED status indicators for your charge level. On this side, you have your USB outputs. Here's a two amp and a one amp. Here is the port where the battery charger plugs in. And this little button, if you double click it, might be slightly illegal if you choose to use this wrong and it's hard to tell on camera, but it is pulsing between red and blue. Double click it again to turn it off. And if you hold that button, same button, LEDs on the bottom side here come on. It's a full LED just output. Click it again and it goes into a strobe mode. One more time and it's an SOS mode. Once again, turn it off. Now, I'll tell you, about a year ago, my wife was in her O3 Cobra. Her and her um, mom and her sister went out to do some riding and the battery died coming around a curve on a very busy road, um, not too far from here. And they all jumped out of the car. It was two lanes, but cars were flying around this curve. And at the last minute, they were all having to change lanes and get out of the way. And when I arrived to try to jump start the car again, I took my flashlight out of my pocket and I set it on the convertible top facing backwards down the road and I put on that strobe on my flashlight. And immediately you could see the difference in the car, the oncoming traffic. They were changing lanes much, much sooner because the hazard lights on her car just weren't getting the message to the people soon enough. You know, it was very last minute that they were noticing that hazards were on. Whereas with my strobed flashlight on top, they could see it much, much further away. So that something like this is very, very nice to have. All right, guys, that's it. So I'm going to post a link in the description below where you can check this out. They range from $30 to $65. Just depends on what uh, level you want to get. And this one for the six liter is the $65 one and they go down from there. I think the two and a half liter one's the $29. So link in the description below, check it out. If you like this video guys, please hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. We got lots more videos to come and we'll see you on the next one.